Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare.co.uk. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to um, test out the latest version of Umbraco and using Visual Studio Code. So it's not using uh, the big Visual Studio, you don't need any of that installed, all you need is Visual Studio Code. So what we're going to do is, first of all I'll show you where to download Visual Studio Code from. So if you go to code.visualstudio.com and then you go to download for Windows, um, you do need to run Umbraco on Windows. So yeah, unfortunately, although you can use Visual Studio Code on a Mac, you can't actually run Umbraco on a Mac yet. So click download for Windows. And then when you've got that um, installed, one thing you just want to make sure you add on is go into extensions and then search for IIS Express and it's by Warren Buckley from Umbraco HQ. Install that um, that's what you'll need for this to work. So then the next thing we do is any time you want to test out um, the latest version of Umbraco or even previous releases so you can go on to um, ourumbraco.com and click on the download link and then you've got uh, link here to the latest download or previous releases. So if I was to click on, I think I've just clicked on previous releases, but also if I just open this one in a new tab. Oh, yeah, so I opened that, I clicked on the other one and it just automatically started downloading a zip file down here. So that's opening that and then if we just have a look back, so say if you're helping someone out on the forum and they're on a particular version of uh, Umbraco, you could just come to here and, and download it if you wanted to. You click on the version and then click on the link to download it as a zip file. So we've got the latest version of Umbraco, so what I'm going to do is click show in folder and then that will bring the folder up for me and then here it is. I think what a good idea to do is when you download these you could put these in a folder called Umbraco versions. Let's just pretend my downloads folder is a folder of Umbraco versions. Keep it as a zip file and then anytime you want to test something out or try it out what you can do is just extract all and then when it's finished extracting you can just rename it to be um, whatever you want it to be. So I'm going to do this um, as Umbraco 813 and then Visual Studio Code demo or something like that. I'll just call it that on the on the folder name. So now all I need to do is open this folder in Visual Studio Code. So one way to do that is you could just right click and if you have it um, enabled as a shell command you can just do it there. I don't. I've got open in Visual Studio but that's not what I want. Another way to do it is copy the path and go into Visual Studio Code and do file open folder and then just paste that in and then select folder. So now I've got this open in Visual Studio Code and because I have installed the extension IIS Express to get this site running it's as easy as just doing in the command palette so I went to view command palette or you can press Control shift and P to get it up as well and then I just start typing IIS Express and then I want start website and what that's going to do is it's just going to use IIS Express on my machine to start this website from this folder and um, I'll have Umbraco set up and running in no time. So yeah, we've got the install screen now. Uh, what I like to do is just use admin at admin.com. for this sort of thing and for me open source packages where I've got a website attached to it and then I'm going to customize it and I'm just going to say continue and continue again because and I'm going to say I don't want a starter kit because on this I'm going to install my new uh, clean starter kit okay so the installs worked um, and then what I'm going to do is go to packages Go to Packages and then go to Clean Starter Kit and install that package. Okay, that's finished. Click on Finish. 
and then we can go to content section and we've got a website set up for us so at the moment it's just got the default content that you get from the clean starter kit but even so let's just have a look at this so you have a clean starter kit installed now so you can try out on Braco um, and you can just start editing things like this Uh, so that is the subtitle on the page and you can see where that gets rendered out on the is that on the about page yep so if I go to the about page hello this is some test text so yeah have a play with Umbraco. Um it's pretty simple you know in this setup that I've done here for the starter kit so yeah that was just a introduction on how easy it is to get up and running on your local machine using Visual Studio Code to get an Umbraco site installed and set up. And then in theory, you could put this into Azure and host this as a website. You could um, FTP this to your GoDaddy server or something like that if you wanted to as well. So yeah, have a play around with it and uh, let me know in the comments what you think. If you've got any questions or anything like that, please uh, feel free to comment. Um, if you like the video, please click on like and subscribe to my channel and uh, share with others as well. Click on the subscribe button um, with the bell notifications as well if you want to find out when I've got new videos going live, things like that. So yeah, thanks everybody for watching and look out for my new series for creating an Umbraco 8 uh, website from scratch. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.